Hi there, welcome to Elm Colors, I'm Erica. On today's video, we're going to be doing some coloring on some fun PDFs that I've printed out. These are digital stamps, but uh, they work just the same as like regular coloring PDFs. So I thought I would work on some of these little characters in here. I think these are so cute and I'm wanting to um, put them on some cards. So I am trying to mix my my hobbies here so hopefully you guys enjoy this little bit of coloring as well so i'm going to grab a sip of tea here okay that was delicious i am drinking so i don't know if i talked about this one before i know i've talked about the hot cinnamon before but this one is hot cinnamon sunset and it has some orange in it and it's so good i love it so much okay so first i want to show you some of these um cute little images um, and then, and we'll talk a little bit about the, um, artists and, um, yeah. So this first one, this is the one I'm going to color mostly today since it's still fall. I thought we would kind of work on this one and look how cute that is. It's just so cute. And I love that it has not only the image, but also the sentiments that you can color or that you can cut out and put on your card if you want to. Um, I really liked it using digital stamps, but I, I don't think to do it as often as I should. Uh, and I saw a video by a lovely card maker that whose um, channel I'll put in the description that um, used this artist. This is Isabel Christina on Etsy, and she's got so many cute illustrations. So here's one from her, uh, and then I'll show you her other ones. So this is another one I found. Look at these little stocking animals. They're just so cute. Uh, and then... Where's the other one? Yeah, here's the other one of hers. So this is like, this is called an easy print page. So you can get everything just printed at once. And then you can put, you know, color all the little pieces and cut them out or whatever. Or you can, if you have like Photoshop or I use my silhouette um, program actually on my computer and you can arrange all of these different items into like one little card size or one little image if you wanted to just color it like you could take all these pieces and make your own design with it um, and then color that in and that's just that's cute as well I love it I love it I love it so in that vein I have decided to take uh, that window from this this little window and I made it bigger so that I can cut it out and then um, stack a couple on there and pop it up on a card and then have this little be a, like a little window frame, which I think will be so cute. Maybe make it a shaker card or something. And then I saw a really cute um, video recently uh, featuring a chimney and a Santa. And I will, um, I'm, I'm probably going to be stealing that idea for one of my Christmas cards this year. I, it's just awesome. So I made, I took the, the chimney so from this one, and I made it a little bit bigger on here and a little bit bigger here. Um, I, it's got, so each of the, in the set of images that you get, you get each individual little image. And then, um, so there was one that's just the Christmas ornaments. So I just took that and made a bunch of those so that I could like decorate my mantle if I wanted to. So I've got <clears throat> so many ideas right now. Okay. And then this one is from, shoot, Connie. Connie somebody. <laughs> I'll put her name on screen. Um, this one was so cute and I thought that was a really cute image too. Um, I'm starting to get into the Christmas ones. I know that I need to get on top of that. So I've been working on that. And then um, these, this little snowman and penguin and this, um, these two little birds, look at how cute they are. Um, those are from Lee Holland Art on Etsy. And then this one, I can't remember their name either, but I will put the name of that Etsy shop on screen. And all of these Etsy shops will be linked in my description box below too. So yeah, so I thought we would do maybe this one and this one today since it's still, like I said, still fall themed. But yeah, I'm definitely getting ready, getting ideas, getting ready for Christmas. I'm very excited. Okay, let me grab a backer page. And I'm going to zoom you in a little bit so that you can see what I'm doing. I'll be right back with you. Okay, so I went through and got some brown Copics together. I went through and just kind of did a little swatch. I'm going to, I'm going to rethink how I'm swatching my Copics because I need to get them all in order and not just my Copics, but my other markers as well. So I'm just going to have to get like all of my 
all of my markers together. So for all of my Halloween pages recently, I, I went through and did a swatch of all of my orange markers in my Ohuhu set, my Pro markers, um, my, um, what else do I have? I have Pro markers and something else. <laughs> oh, Prismacolors. Uh, and then, yeah, and then just kind of swatched out all the colors that I had in those, those, that, that shade. And so this is all my browns for my Copics. Um, and it's nice to see them that way because then you can know which ones kind of work for blending and stuff. And so I think my plan is to go with these 30s, but I think one of these is starting to die a little bit, which is a little upsetting. So I'm going to have to sub in a different one. So we're going to sub in this one. Hopefully these work the same way that they did on my little <laughs> post-it sheet. Okay, so I'm going to start with this E15, which is a really cute color. And here we go. Okay, so I'm going to just get started. So hi, everybody. I hope you are having a wonderful weekend so far. It is Saturday morning for me. I am... I don't, I'm just having a nice, nice, easy, relaxing Saturday morning so far. I um, was able to sleep in a little bit, just a little, not much. My alarm kind of goes off. <laughs> I, I forget sometimes to turn off that, that early morning alarm. And um, it's a little frustrating, especially when I don't really want to get up. <laughs> Um, oh, these little guys are so cute. I love this little squirrel. Okay, I am going to add some pink into his cheeks really quick, and I'm just going to grab my uh, one of my Ohuhu ones really quick, just so you can kind of see that you can mix these markers together. So I'm just giving a little blush while that was still wet, so that kind of blends in together. Uh, and then I'm going to give him, I'm going to use this really dark brown to give him a little bit of a nose here. Oh my gosh, he's so cute already. Uh, and then I'm going to use a really light color on his belly. And I think I'm going to go with this E53. So he's going to have a light color on his belly. I might use this other one to kind of blend a little bit too. I'm going to just blend that together. I'll probably add in some other lighter color or darker colors too to that. But for now, that is that part of him. I'm going to use these darker colors here to blend a little bit. Which one? Okay, so this one is next. Yeah, see, it's not quite the same, but I think that it'll work. So it's a, a little different tone. It's not quite as... Um, I don't know, I think the E15 is, is more, has more pigment in it, maybe. It's not as muted. Maybe that's it. I don't know exactly what it is. Wait, and then we're going to just kind of blend that together with this one. Maybe that's a little darker. Maybe that's what it is. Okay, let's try this darkest one then and see if that'll work. Yeah, that one works nice. Okay, sorry, this is supposed to be, <laughs> this is supposed to be like a, a chat, not just a, not just a watch, sit and watch me color. Um, let's see, so today I get to go hang out with some friends. I'm so excited. Um, one of my most lovely friends in the whole wide world, um, her and her husband are just, they're just phenomenal people. And they have invited us over. We're going to hang out with some other people. Some, we're going to do some adult fun, which I'm excited for. I haven't done that in a long time. 
and um, yeah, we're just gonna just gonna go and I, it is a whole family thing, so the rest of the family's coming too. But um, oh my gosh, this is so cute! I love this, you guys. Uh, <laughs> Okay, I'm gonna add in a darker color here. So let me let me just look and see what I have. I'm gonna try. No, that's not gonna work. I'm gonna try this one. Let's see if we can get a nice dark. That'll work. Blend that out. Sorry, you're just watching me go through. I I always do this, don't I? I say this every time I have my markers out. I can't do any more marker work while I'm trying to talk to you guys. Now I got out of the lines a little bit here. Let me see if we can use my um, alcohol, my colorless blender to kind of push that color back in. Sometimes it works, sometimes it doesn't want to, but we'll try. I know that reds are the are the trickiest, but the other thing you can do is just take like a white gel pen or something um, and um, cover it up. Uh, anyway, so yeah, so we're going to go have fun tonight. Um, we had, we had a party last night. We have a party tonight. This is, this is, you know, odd for me who is not typically the most social person, but I'm excited because I actually like these people. So, okay. I think I'm just going to add just a little bit more. Hopefully that is dry enough. I'm just going to very lightly add some shadows and blend that back out. Okay. That should be good for that. I've kind of used all of the same colors that I wanted to use on the squirrel that would be used on this. Um, what am I trying to say? Acorn, holy moly, <laughs> I couldn't say acorn. Um, kind of used all those same colors. I'm gonna mix another Ohuhu in here as well. So I'm gonna use this E7, which is a weird kind of reddish brown. I'm not gonna go all the way. Let's see, how do I wanna do this? I'm gonna use I'm gonna start with this color. It's gonna seem weird, but I'm gonna start with that color. Then we're gonna go in with this one. Blend that back out. You know how sometimes acorns kind of almost have like an orangey, an orangey look to them. All right, that blend's not bad for just two markers. I was gonna bring this one in, but I think that that, yeah, just a little bit of this, just in the darkest parts. It's almost a red, reddish acorn. Okay, all right. <laughs> I gotta stop focusing on this. Um, yeah, we're going to have, we're going to have a good time. I think it's going to be really fun. Um, just to, just to chill and hang out with adults for a little while. Um, let's try, I'm going to try these colors on the top here. Like that. And then we're going to do a little bit of... This one, blend that back out a little bit. All right, he's looking pretty cute. Um, <clears throat> yeah, so I mentioned earlier that I've really been doing a lot of, um, I've been messing with my cards a lot like just like that's all I want to do right now is just 
make cards. And not only making cards, but I've been, <laughs> I've been buying cards like a crazy person too. And that's, or not cards, but card making supplies. And um, I am, I need to stop. It's getting ridiculous. Uh, I do plan on filming a haul video for those of you that are interested in that. Um, it's just, it's out of control at this point. Out of control. Which makes me glad every day that I'm the one that looks at the bill and not my husband because he'd be like, what are you doing? <laughs> He'd be like, all right, you're, you can't do this anymore. It's done. Yeah, so uh, I do have plans for everything, though. That's good, right? Like, I'm not just planning to just look at it. I've even I've even gone through and, like, rearranged my, um, my whole, well, not all of it, but quite a bit of my crafting area so that I could get, you know, all of the... So I can get all of my stuff in um, decently organized. Okay, I'm just grabbing a bunch of random uh, Copic markers. I have no idea if this will work or not, but we're going to try these colors. I don't know. We'll see. We'll see. So I'm going to start. Yeah, let's start with this one. So I'm just gonna add a little bit of color. Add a little bit of color. And blend everything. It's not any like super high contrast or anything in that, but it's okay. We'll do this one here. Um, but yeah, so I went through and I like reorganized a whole bunch of my my areas so that I can just kind of rethought the way that I was using it. And it really has helped already. Like I've noticed a difference just in the last couple of days. So I'm excited that I've got that, that going. Um, I'm going to grab this E7 because that was a good kind of fall leafy color, right? I love Copics. They're just so fun. Even if I can't talk while well, <laughs> well, I use them. <laughs> Um, so last night we had the cross country party, which is the end of the season party. It's so fun. Everybody just kind of gets together and, um, we have like a little pitchin and the coaches cook hot dogs and hamburgers and, um, it just, yeah, lots of fun. I'm not going to use that one anymore. Get out of here. I like those colors. Maybe bring in some green. Let me grab some green. Um, but yeah, I am. Um, I'm sad to see that the season is over because I I do really love. Um, I, I just love to watch the kids run, and I love to cheer for all of them, and. It's just super fun to see all the families kind of just come together and and have fun and and just be so encouraging. It's just it's just the best. It really is. Um Okay. I'm liking those. Let's do a little bit on these guys. So what did I start with? E, okay. And do these um, let's see what else. So yeah, we had that last night. Oh, and I went and, so we had it at a, uh, local, um, city park and it was a beautiful night, like, so, like the perfect weather. And then of course all the trees around are just stunningly beautiful. 
and um, my daughter, my youngest, she decided that she actually liked, she picked out an outfit that she felt cute in and she liked the way she looked and and I was like, can we take some pictures? And she said, yes. And I about had a heart attack because <laughs> she is not my picture taker. She does not like to pose. She does not, she just doesn't typically feel comfortable. And um, I was so excited. And we got just some of the best pictures. And I asked her if I could share them. So I'm going to post just a couple on here. Um, I just, it was fun. It was really fun. And um, I can't wait to try to talk her into doing more of that. It's just, it was exciting for me. Um, yeah, and then let's see what else. Oh, <laughs> so uh, what day was it? It was, I don't remember what day it was. Actually, I kind of put it out of my head. I want to say maybe Wednesday. I think it was Wednesday. I tried, literally tried not to think about it uh, since it happened. And I have kind of, like, it was like almost like, it was too stressful for me to even think about. Anyway, uh, we had a bullet come through the side of our house. And uh, yeah, it, it I, I, it's, freaking hard for me to talk about because my husband was in the room where it happened not far from where it came through like 45 seconds before um before it happened and you know it's not like we're we're not in a high crime area we're not you know there's not people getting murdered all over the place it's just it's just scary you know and I know that a lot of people have guns and I'm sure that it was like some someone was playing with a gun or something misfired somewhere and I, but holy moly I mean you talk about freaking out I mean I my immediate thought was that somebody had come through and was you know like shooting up the houses or something and that's not what was happening definitely not what was happening there was only there was one you know one bullet hole we talked to our neighbors and nobody else had had any you know, instances like that. Um, it was just, it was crazy. But the thing was, it was when we heard it, you know, and I'm not around a lot of gunfire. I don't, I don't care for guns. We don't own a gun. Um, but it was so loud. Like we just heard this one really loud pop. And then, you know, I was looking around the house cause it sounded like something had like fallen um, so I thought maybe something fell off the house or I don't know what I was thinking. And then I came upstairs and my husband's like, holy crap. <laughs> so really, really scary. Everybody's okay. I'm the only one that's really freaking out about it. And I, like I said, I've been trying not to think about it as much as possible. Um, Yeah. All right, this is real messy, so I'm going to have to work kind of hard to clean that up. We'll, we'll see. Um, I'm just going to keep going with these. these. Uh, but yeah, my first, my first immediate knee-jerk reaction was we're moving and, and that's it. We're out of this neighborhood. And, but it's not like it was... It's not a common occurrence. <laughs> so... Uh, but I did find out how to patch up a bullet hole, <laughs> you know, temporary fix until we can get it, get like the siding replaced and everything. And which is just crazy. It's just crazy to say to me, at least. All right. These are fun. It's nice to make each one kind of just a little bit different too. I mean, I'm using basically the same colors on all of them, but just a little difference, just little differences here and there. And definitely making a giant mess. I 
into more green. I want a darker green. I wonder if I have, I think I have a good green here. This is real dark though. So let's do this light one first. Again, I'm mixing my Ohuhus and my Copics together. I think you can do that with any brand, really. Like, I know some of the brands, um, yellow, like some of it, like after a while, the yellow. Also, something to think about when you are doing your marker work. I don't know if you guys can see, but you see these little dots on the page here? Come on, get out of my way, paper. So see all these little dots everywhere? That's just for me taking the caps on and off, so you really need to be careful to try not to take your caps off right over top of your artwork. Kind of do it away a little bit from where you're working because things tend to get a little um, messy. Um, let's see what else. Uh, I mean, not a lot other than that. I mean, <laughs> that bullet coming through was stressful enough. I didn't need any more, any more craziness after that. A after that happened, I literally like shut myself in the basement for a couple of days and was doing nothing but card making. Uh, I was talking to um, Corey from Colorfully Optimistic, and she said basically I just did the, like, I took the crafting version of Xanax basically. <laughs> I was like, yep, that's basically what it was. I just crafted myself into oblivion. But I think, you know, that's one of the reasons why I like this hobby so much is because it's such a stress reliever that, I mean, coloring and card making and scrapbooking for me are just like ways to just kind of shut my overthinking side of my brain up and just relax and have fun. All right, let's do another one with some greens. I want to do a lot of green on this though, but I'm going to go ahead and I'm basing all of them with this really light um, cream color one. Um, so this is YR21 and then I'm just going to, because that's an, a good one to kind of blend all of the colors together to get kind of a uniform look. So I'm just going to add in some greens. I'm going to leave a little bit of yellow showing. Um, yeah, I'm excited. I'm excited for tonight. I'm making, um, I make these every Christmas typically and some other, every once in a while I'll make them, but um, they're just bacon crackers. So it's, it's crackers, um, with a little pile of either Parmesan cheese or brown sugar, and then they're wrapped in a piece of bacon, and it's just so stinking good. They're, like, addictive, and I take those, you know, typically when we go to, like, parties and stuff like that. And um, so I'm excited to snack on those today, and I'm also going to make... Um, now, this sounds like a terrible, <laughs> a terrible thing, but it's it's a dump cake. So it's basically because it's called that because you just dump the ingredients into a cake pan and then it turns into delicious goodness. Um, yeah, so I'm going to make an apple one for today. And I think that will be delicious. I've not made an apple one. I've made cherry and blueberry and um, a pumpkin one one year, but I've never made an apple. So I'm excited to do that. I think that'll be really good. All right, two more little leaves, and then we'll move on to another image. Because this is basically then, I'm just going to cut it out. Um, Actually, I might do that while I'm talking to you. I can cut. I can cut and cut and uh, cut and chat at the same time, right? I mean, I know that you guys don't really want to watch that, but most of you aren't really watching anyway. You're just kind of listening to me babble along, which is what I do when I watch color and chats. You know, I'll glance up at the screen every once in a while to see what they're working on, 
but a lot of it is just like for company while I'm while I'm crafting or creating or whatever it is I'm doing. Gosh, I like this. This is so fun. Sorry, <laughs> I know I keep saying that. So there's our little, how cute. All right, I'm gonna set all these markers aside. I think I'm just gonna use, I'm gonna set this aside. I won't make you guys watch me cut. We'll, we'll, we'll work on this little cutie patootie. I'm gonna use the same colors though. I've got all my browns already out so I can do some cute little acorns and yeah, I'm just gonna use the same browns. Of course, now I have to think about what I'm doing so it might be back to that whole little problem where I can't talk in color at the same time. <laughs> What color did I use for this? I used this one. Now this one could go on a card or it could just be just a fun little um, coloring, coloring thing that I'm doing, which is one of the things that I like the most about cards making cards is because it's such a combination and scrapbooking too like I use my color theory so often in my scrapbooking um, and I just love to do it on on the cards and and you know in my coloring pages um, what was I talking about <laughs> I don't know color this color over this and it'll kind of tone that down I think a little bit too it won't be so, quite so red but I do want to make this little acorn part darker so I'm going to add in I'm just kind of playing with these right now I, I have no rhyme or reason to what I'm actually doing it's just just messing around all right that's really cute what what another what's this one this one is B53, I don't want that one, I want 31, where are you? That's what I'm gonna make this guy. One of the things I like doing is to take a really light color like that and then you take your, oh, everything's falling out. You take your colorless blender and you just kind of go over top of that and it kind of softens up that edge so it blends out into the next little area. And then, so that was, what number was that? That was 31. We're going to use, let's use 33. I think this one is the one trying to dry up on me. But it'll work for this little area, I think. Now, I know today wasn't really necessarily a whip. Um, but I just, I really want to, I want to get these on some cards, so... I need to make that darker. We're gonna try, nope, that's not gonna work. We're gonna try, where'd you go? Um, here we go, we're gonna try this one. Just to give it some shading. Um, let's see, channel news. <laughs> I can do that, right? I can do that and talk. Um, channel news. I have started, oh, my, um, my 13 Days of Camellia Angel Cova has started. I think that it's, um, I, I really enjoyed doing it. I know that they're like about halfway through in the videos, you can start to tell that I'm kind of like iffy about it now, but I really, I just had a good time doing it. Okay. What is this color? That is the pink. Um, let's see, what do we think about this combination? I'm gonna do some of this and some of that. Yep, that'll work. So we're gonna make these little mushroom characters basically the same. Oh, I should have left a bigger, well, too late now. I meant to leave a, a 
like a highlight area. That's the only thing I hate about Copics is you, once you get the color down, it's, I mean, you can use the colorless blender to lighten it up a little bit, but you really, you're stuck with that initial color that you put down. Where's my, my there, we're going to try this. Just kind of add a little bit here and see if that'll, see if that'll help. And we're going to darken up everything Um, yeah, so my um, 13 Days of Halloween is out. I really, like I said, I, I like the way that the majority of the pictures have turned out. Um, I'm loving seeing everybody's pictures on, um, on Instagram. Okay, so for this one, I'm going to try to do a little bit of a highlight first. And then we're going to go in and color. Um, yeah, so let's see what else. I have, um, I do have a new Mix It Up Monday video coming on Monday. That has been recorded and, and loaded and ready to go. Um, I do still have plans for a couple more videos this month outside of these 13 days ones that I am, I've been releasing. And I'm hoping that next week I'll be able to start working on those. The problem I've, <laughs> problem I've run into is that I just can't stop making cards. Like it's, it's, that's all I want to do. It's what I think about. It's what I, <laughs> Literally what I dreamed about last night, which is so sad. Um, yeah, I just, I just want to keep making cards. And that's okay. It's just now, the other thing is, is I have a huge selection of cards. And I, I mean, I know a lot of people, but <laughs> I don't send that many cards to people. So my thought was maybe I would kind of do a thing where I would see if any of you guys would be interested in getting some cards. Um, that is still a big maybe, though, because I have to figure out, um, like, I don't have a P.O. box. So until I get that, that probably won't happen. I mean, not that I don't love you all, but I don't want everybody on the internet to have my address. <laughs> so, um, yeah. Okay, I don't know. We don't know about that. This is not quite, but maybe it's just not dry yet. Maybe it just needs to dry. Leave it alone and let it dry, Erica. <laughs> Okay, so this little cutie, she's gonna have, we're gonna give her some little, let me give her some skin colors here. So I'm gonna start with this one. Um, yeah, so for the channel, and then also let me know what your guys' opinion is on the, um, on this, that kind of, you know, series of videos where I have, you know, 13 days of the same kind of coloring. It's not the exact same thing every day, but it's pretty darn close. It's not like it's super different every day. Um, and I'd be interested to know what your opinion is on series of videos like that like if you like it like that or because I was thinking about maybe doing a Christmas one where um I did like I kind of worked in some of my other hobbies as well so I would have a little bit of like throughout the because I'm thinking like maybe like a 12 days of Christmas kind of thing um but you know mixing in having still the majority be coloring related, but then mixing in how to use your coloring supplies in other hobbies. So again, on card making, scrapbooking, um, tag making maybe. Um, let me know what you guys think about that. Uh, 
because I think that would be kind of fun instead of just doing coloring pages every every single day just to kind of do something a little bit different but I don't know it's totally you know I don't want to make something that's gonna like I mean I want to make stuff that I want to make but I don't want to completely alienate everybody that's out there watching all right that's looking cute so far I like it uh, I'm going to just do a couple of leaves. So I'm going to start with this one. Um, let's see. These guys are going to have... Oh, look at her little wings. <laughs> Those are so cute. Uh, and then this one's going to have quite a bit of yellow. All right. Let me blend that out with a couple of different yellows. Sometimes I start with the lightest color, sometimes I start with a darker color and then just kind of go from there. It all depends on, I don't know, just kind of how my brain is working at that moment. There are a lot of tutorials out there on how to use Copics. Some people say you should only, you know, use, you start with your lightest color first and then, you know, go into the and just kind of layer. And that, that does tend to be the best way that I found, you know, that it works the best that way. Cause then you get everything to blend right. But sometimes you just don't think about it before you're already coloring. All right, uh, let's see, what's this one look like? I don't know what color this looks like, but we're just gonna add it in. Gosh, she's so cute already. I'm gonna give her some, mm, what color hair? Let's do a red hair. That'd be pretty, wouldn't it? I have a really nice dark red, but I'm gonna layer it with another red. Okay, I gotta figure out what's her hair. So I think she's got some hair actually coming here. I'm just kind of making it up as I go. For hair, I definitely like to start with my lighter color and then I come in with a darker. And then try to blend that back out. Mm, I don't know if this is quite the right color. I think I need a little bit more orange in there. It's a nice red, it's just not fall enough, I don't think, if that makes sense. I'm gonna go ahead and do these layers and see what we can do about that. Um, let's just throw in, let's just go straight for an orange. So I've got YR18. Well, it does change that quite a bit. I don't know if you guys can really see that even. Um, I like it. <laughs> I like it. Um, she's going to have, let's do, I'm going to grab, oh my gosh, if you guys could see my desk right now, I have so many colors on my desk. We're going to use this YR27 for her little dress here. I'm gonna see that's hair back there too. All 
right, so what do you guys think? Hopefully this is not too terribly boring for you. I mean, it's still coloring, right? A little bit of, little bit of Copic tips, a little bit of lovely chatting. Oh, is that the right color? Yes. Yes? I think. I hope. Uh, let's do some yellow. She's going to have yellow wings. I love that yellow. It's so pretty. We've got in some brown, too. Let's do... Little bit of this brown. Try to blend that out if we can. Okay. All right, so I think that's it for today. I know it was a lot of me just kind of rambling, but I think these little, I'm, you know, I'm partially done with that one. I got this cute little one all done. I'm going to hopefully be able to make a card with that today. Maybe I'll be able to do that before the end of the video. Well, before I publish the video and um, get that on a card and kind of show you what I did with that one. So, okay, that is it for today. Thank you guys so much for watching. And um, until next time, I'll see you later. Bye.